Hi, in this video, uh, uh, we will learn uh, very first programming, C programming. So this is, I have logged into my virtual machine and this is uh, Ubuntu. I have uh, installed, I have set up a virtual machine for Ubuntu on my Windows machine. And um, this is a command, uh, command line uh, interface, which I have, which I'm accessing using uh, mobile Xtrum from my Windows. So let's create a very uh, first file uh, in C and uh, edit that file using VI editor on Linux. So for VI editor, we have a command VI and file name can be anything, whatever you want. Uh, let's create a file name like uh, first program dot C. And if you see here, now if before starting, starting typing, you have to press I, I for insert and let me write a very uh, basic program then uh, we will try to learn each and every step of that program let me include a header file which is required so this is C So this is uh, the very basic program which just print hello on the screen. So before we compile this program, let me try to explain you each and every symbol we have used in this program. So this is the first statement which is hash include. This is called preprocessor directive. So preprocessor directive is nothing but is a part of compiler. And basically this, this, um, this hash include directive tell the compiler or processor to include this header file in the program. So whatever you write inside this angular bracket, opening angular bracket and closing angular bracket, that is a header file and uh, it ends with dot h. After that, this is the main function. Main is the function, a special function, which from, from this place, our program start executing. And before this, you see this int, this is nothing but a written type of this, this function. It can, in 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 GCC compiler or or newest compiler, it should be it must be integer because function must return integer data type. If you if you are running the same program in any older compiler, then you it may allow you to have this void also. If you are using void, then you don't need to return anything. But in recent compiler, you have to make it integer. And in that case, you can return some integer value. So usually we return zero. And if I talk about this, this is opening this thing, this is opening parenthesis, this is closing parenthesis. And after that, we have opening braces. This is opening braces. And after that, let me enable the line number. Let's see, set any. So if you look at the line number five, this is a function. And every function has opening parenthesis and closing parenthesis followed by semicolon. So printf is a function which is used to print anything on the on the on the console, and it has double quotes. So whatever we print on the double quotes, it is printed on the screen. And if I talk about the slash n, this is backslash. This just thing is black backslash n. And this is a special character which is used to uh, print anything on the next next line and uh, and this is the written statement this is keyword in c programming and as i said we can return some value from here and this is the end of the program so let me come out of this for so for in vi to come out i have to press escape then shift colon and write in q write is to write everything in do this file that is save thing and save everything and q for quit if i press enter it will come out now we have this file we can also check its content using uh, cat command and this will display the content of this file but we cannot add it you cannot add it anything here now next is how to how to compile this .c file so we can use a gcc compiler here so uh, gcc is a compiler and if you want to make sure whether it is installed or not you can say gcc hyphen hyphen version and uh, uh, this says it's 11.3.0 was installed. So this is how you can use this command to check if GCC is installed or not. Now let to compile this 
to compile this program, we just need to use gc command and the program name. If you see here, uh, if the program has some error, it will show you the error. It says line number one, column number eight, there's a fatal error. This is no directory. So there's a typo here. Let me fix it. So I will again go back to edit. I'll, I'll edit this file. So for edit, I will use vi again. And uh, what was the file name? First, first program dot C. And if I come here and I will go in set mode by pressing I, then I will remove the D. Then I will I want to save it and come outside. Then I will press escape key from the keyboard. Then shift colon and write and quit. So this is done. Now I will again to file to run or to execute the last command. You can use arrow up or down arrow key. It will show you the command which you have used in the past. So I'll, I'm pressing, I press the up arrow key and stopped here on this command and I'm pressing GC one more time. So, so there's a typo one more time. Let me fix it. I'll compile one more time. So this has been compiled. So if you see here, you will see one file here, a.out. This is the output produced by this, this program. So I'll tell you why it is a.out. So by default, when compiler, GCC compiler is, is compiling any file, by default, the, the executed file, the executable produced by it is a.out. A.out. We can change its name also. I'll tell you in the next steps. But before that, let's run it. So once you have this executable file created, you can run it like dot slash a.out. This is the syntax. And once you run it, you will see it's printing hello. Now it is mixing with the this this message. So for that, what we can do is we can we can edit this file and after printing this, we will insert one more slash in. So so because of this, whatever is printed next, it will be it will go in next line. Let me save it like other. I can use clear to clear up everything, and uh, it will erase the screen. And I will compile one more time. It has been compiled. I'll run it again. And you will see it has been printed and this message earlier we were getting on the same line. Now it has moved to the next line because we use slash n. Now, if I want to change the name of this output file, so I'll come here and I need to pass hyphen o, hyphen o. So this is the flag. We call it flag, GCC flag. All flags start with hyphen and some name. This is o. After passing o, I want to, I'm, I want to specify the name like object executable file we we also call it object file so if i sing hyphen o then i need to pass some name i will say uh, first program dot out you can the extension can be you can even have without extension so, but you can also have exe dot out or anything whatever you want but standard is out on linux exe we use on windows and sometime you will see in the projects they don't mention any extension so I, I'll, I'll keep dot out for now and I will compile it. So if I want to see the output, I will say ls space hyphen ltr. And now you will see this file has been created. I can delete the older file because it will be the confusion. rf space hyphen f I can use and I can specify this file name. Or I can type. It has been deleted. Now if I check one more time, the content of the directory then was dot out. Similarly, if I want to run, let's run it. See, it's producing the same output. So we saw how to compile C program and how to specify the file name in the uh, as a hyphen O flag. And if I if I want to check something else, like uh, what else we can check? So if I want to check, if I want to check the deletion of any binary then I can use this command file and the executable name that is out. Maybe this does not have permission. So I will not tell it now. No such a file or directory. First program, let me check program dot out. It's happening because it's not, it does not have correct permission. First okay sorry so yeah you can see here uh, it is showing 
this is the command and using this you can you can check the details about any binary or uh, executable on linux it says it is elf elf is a file format on linux and this is 64 bit binary and this was uh, this is not stripped i'll talk more about this other details but this is how you can check and so remember whenever we we produce any uh, binary or linux it has some dependency to run when you run it it required some libraries or we call it runtime libraries or runtime objects and that dependency we can check using ldd command ldd first program dot out so here you can see this ldd is a command which you can use on any any binary so it depends on three so file so files are like dynamic libraries on linux and these so file must be there on the linux system if you want to run this binary so let's say you want to move this binary to some other operating system or you are copying this to some other operating system or other machine of linux then you have to make sure these are running if these are not there in the system then you will get a runtime error now what is runtime error i will talk in my next videos for now uh, this was the basic program and uh, I explained you about each and every symbol and how to compile it and how to pass hyphen no. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to the channel.